President Biden is back on the campaign trail in the battleground state of Michigan after wrapping up the NATO summit. The president insisted that he's not ending his re-election run during a news conference, even as more House Democrats joined calls for him to do so. Jared Hill has the latest. I'm determined on running. In a rare solo news conference, an energetic President Joe Biden defied calls to drop out of the 2024 race. I've got to finish this job. The president faced tough questions for an hour as he tried to tamp down concerns over his age and fitness for office. I've taken three significant and intense neurological exams. Can you name me somebody who's got more major piece of legislation passed in three and a half years? But last night, more House Democrats publicly called on the president to step aside. In the next 96 hours, perhaps, is the moment to set aside the poetry, the loyalty and the love and ask yourself a hard question, which is, are you sure he's going to win? The gaffe prone president did make a few missteps yesterday. First, flubbing his introduction of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky at a NATO event. President Putin. <laughs> President Zelensky. And later, while referring to his running mate, Vice President Kamala Harris. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she was not qualified to be president. Former President Donald Trump mocked the gaffe on social media, writing Biden, quote, has Trump derangement syndrome. Jared Hill, CBS News.